Everybody and welcome to the second link for the Persona podcast. I'm your host Spencer, and joining me this week is Lauren. Hello, guys. And Will. Hey, everybody. And unfortunately, Melissa was not able to make it this week, but we will be sure to have her in our thoughts this week as we record, along with her adorable guinea pig. Hmm. Indeed. It was really cute. Yeah, we should like just get like a little sound clip of some guinea pigs and just put it in every now and then throughout here. Mm-hmm. Although that would be very random. But either way, talking about random, um, I guess. Well, what have uh, what's everybody been up to since we last recorded? Lauren, what have you been doing? Um, I played Final Fan. Or no, 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 no sorry, wrong <laughs> game. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, uh, 3D, uh, for review. And um, other than that. Uh, I guess I've been searching for work. I have been trying to keep up with um, Persona 4, but it's just kind of been put on the back burner with everything else that's going on. But Well, unfortunately, Persona 4 does not pay the bills. Yes, it's true. I'm sorry, guys. It's very, very true. I mean, it would be... You know, it, it, you know be... what does pay the bills? Go and uh, checking out her review. So, guys, go check out that review. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Anyways, well, what were you up to? Oh, me? What I was up to? Um, oh, man. God, a whole lot. Uh, like, as you were doing, I was playing Kmart 3D. Beat that. And then... Slowly progressed through Dothead GU. Bought, like, I think about $800 worth of anime DVD collections. And... What else? That's about it. <laughs> Spent way too much money. <laughs> yes, that's all you need to know. And it's Australian money, so you know it was expensive. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Alright, well, uh, I guess for me, like, very unoriginally, like everybody else, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 3D. Um, have not beaten it, because I don't live in all the other lucky countries who get it early. But, have been busy uh, with gaming of my own, I guess. Uh, besides keeping up to date with Persona news, I finally beat Heavy Rain. That was... <gasps> Yay. That was interesting. I, I, I worked my way... This isn't any spoilers. Just, I, I tried to beat the game without having anybody die on me. And then, due to one mistake in the game, if you know what I'm talking about at the very end, I had one person die at the last second for one mistake. Oh. Nice. Which is so dumb, and I didn't get the trophy. But it, it was a lot better than I thought. I thought the game would have just been full of dumb Jason jokes and screaming the word Sean. Well, when he does yell the word Sean twice, may, might I add, it's it's... It's a bit hilarious, it's but... It's scary. He's like, Sean! I, I Sean! never got scary. I got it at first, but it was mainly for the fact that... Probably because I had always heard everyone make the Jason jokes beforehand. Yeah. And it's so true the, like, that there are only two. Sean! 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 There's yeah. just two. Jason. The whole game. Jason! Jason? Uh, but, Jason. yeah, so... Check out, check out Heavy Rain if you got, like... It's like 20 bucks on Amazon, plus... You get some free stuff with it through the director's cut. It's it's definitely worth twenty bucks, I at least feel. Well, yeah. I, Lauren, you played it. Yeah, I think it's worth the twenty bucks. So, um, uh... but yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, do you have anything to add to Heavy Rain? Will? No, I was just saying. So, uh, so David Cage finally made you play that game, huh? After uh, after living at your house for about a month, he made you finally. Yeah, play David. Game. Yeah, David Cage. He's been kind of squatting over here. Uh, he's actually not even been working on Beyond. So I don't know what all the other guys at Quantic Dreams are doing. So. <laughs> Fingers crossed the game comes out now, because he's just been hanging around here drinking all my tea. I don't really know what he's doing here anymore. It's just weird. But, uh, well, forgetting about David Cage like I do every day, uh, time for us to go into our news section. (laughs) That's the nice thing about Persona. There's always news about it. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kingdom Hearts fans? How's it feel being a fan of that? All that news. I know. 
Oh, uh, there's a lot of Kingdom Hearts news, but we're going to start off today with some, actually not um, game-related, but anime persona news. Uh, Sentai Filmworks uh, actually just came out recently um, and said that uh, its upcoming Blu-ray release, uh, Persona 4 The Animation, uh, will only have the English dub and will not have the Japanese uh, audio track on the Blu-ray. Now, the Blu-ray is originally going to come out the 18th of September for $70.00. But now it's been bumped down to 60, and it's I think it includes the first 12 episodes of about half the series, and the DVD is also still coming out that day. But that will also have the Japanese and the uh, commentaries for the Japanese uh, dub in it. I don't know. I was kind of stuck on my thoughts of how I felt about this, since it's nice to have all those options. But, and also, I guess I was mainly confused because do you two actually know why they took it out? No. Why? Was it, no. like, the similar reason to why they had the, like, region locked on the Persona 4 Arena? Exa- exactly. They never said why. They just said that the uh, licensor made them change it. And I was thinking, what could be the problem? And then I looked it up. Persona 4, uh, the animation, it's not on Blu ray yet. Mm-hmm. And, well, like,. It, it might actually be on Blu-ray, but it's not anywhere as cheap as it would be because buying anime on Blu-ray in Japan is ridiculous. Mm. Like, you easily get yourself into the hundreds of dollars, so to stop from importing, that's why, like, they made him take it out, which kind of sucks, but I like I said, you can watch the dub anywhere you want online for free, so it doesn't really affect it too much for me. But it's just kind of interesting that, um, I, I guess the... Uh, better note to point out is the DVD is still going to be $60, but the Blu-ray is actually going to be now the same price as the DVD. So that's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, I guess, um, like, depending on how you guys are going to be picking it up, are you guys actually interested in the animation dubbing at all? Oh, yeah. I, I, um, I'm actually interested if uh, Johnny R. Bosch is going to be the protagonist again. Or if he's oh, yeah. Just... They, they've, uh, they got everybody from the original uh, anime. Awesome. So that, I mean, well, actually, I'm not sure. They've said they got everybody from the game, but that's what they've said. Now, you got to think, is Chie and Teddy going to be the same? I actually hope that Chie and Teddy are the new voice actors. Like, that would be, like, best case scenario, because if we, with Persona 4 Arena coming out, then we went back to the older actors, and then with Golden using the same actors, going back to them, it might be a bit weird, like, Mm -hmm. back and forth, you know? Yeah, Mm -hmm. I, to be honest, the whole, like, um... It won't have the um, Japanese language track kind of upsets me a bit just because I like to watch things sometimes. Like, some certain dubs, just... I, I hate to be, like, the the sort of, you know... Um, I don't know what's that, called. It's called Weeaboo. Weeaboo, Weeaboo, I guess. <laughs> but a lot of the times the Japanese dub is actually... There's just a way that they act over there that just has so much more emotion it was meant for their acting um but i will say that i am impressed with the persona series um series voice acting just in general like the games really aren't that bad in terms of just english dubbing and translation so i can only hope that it's just as good but yeah so that's my two sets (laughs) yeah it'll be interesting because like, definitely, when it comes to people actually dubbing and translating, Atlas is known for, like, being some of the best, but since Atlas isn't really going to be involved in the uh, translation for it, since Sentai uh, Works is doing it, it'll be interesting to see how they do it. So hopefully, sincerity of the voices, I guess we can assume that they'll be uh, doing a pretty faithful job at it. All right, so, Will, do you want to give us our next news story? Yeah, definitely. Um, basically, uh, the Persona 4 Arena game had been, you know, recently released in Japan, but uh, there's been quite a bit of gossip around the, uh, the Xbox 360 version suffering from a bit of uh, network lag issues, and um, Atlas released a statement saying that um, these problems were, um, like, like they've they've confirmed the existence of the lag, and they, um, you know, it's unfortunate that it happened, and they want to, you know basically update it. You know, they don't send out a patch soon enough, and, uh... And Andrew Hassan is reporting that the staff is currently looking into the source of this greater-than-expected lag. And we'll probably yeah, follow it, reports. So, yay! Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of weird. I mean, it's definitely disappointing, but the sales for Persona 4 Arena came out in Japan. 
nine thousand people bought the copy. For and for as, 360. As, Yes, uh, for 360, obviously. It was in the hundreds of thousands for PS3. Yeah. It's just, like, it's odd, like, how little of an issue that might kind of seem at first, but for all 9,000, you have to assume they'd be pretty dedicated. But the weird thing is, Arc System Works actually has had this happen in the past with BlazBlue, um, where the netcode's been almost perfect on PlayStation, but for some reason it um, suffered when it came to the Xbox 360. So hopefully they'll be able to sort it out like that, but I guess the big question in everyone's mind is, since the game already went gold in America, like, they've already printed the disc and sent them out, like, do you think they knew about the issue beforehand, and it's going to be in the 360 version in America, or do you, like, think we'll probably just get, like, a day one patch, Lauren? Yeah, I guess so, I guess they will get a day one patch, but it is kind of funny, because it's just, like, it just figures that, you know, um... Japan, the 360 is really dead. Like, it's like... They don't even sell them, like, in the stores anymore. You have to specialty order them. Yeah, exactly. So it's just... It it just so happens that there is a glitch with the 360 version. But yeah, it probably... I I don't know. I mean, would it be... Would it be bad to say, or kind of a bad generalization to say, that most people who will be getting the Persona... um, Persona 4 Arena would already have PlayStation 3s anyway. I feel like Persona fans more go towards PlayStation anyway, but is that wrong? Um, you're not wrong. It's This is where it, it hits kind of an interesting issue because Persona 4 Arena is hitting two different audiences. Persona fans who, yes, are for the majority PlayStation users. Um, yeah. Definitely generalizing this. But then fighting game fans, while yes, we use... Um, uh, PlayStation 3s at all of our tournaments or not, a larger majority of the games are bought on 360. Mm. So, in America, that's going to be much, much bigger of an issue, depending on, like, or at least where I live. A lot of people are excited for it and want to get it on 360. Now that they've heard about the lag, they're kind of like, they're a bit uh, ticked off at it. They're definitely still going to be getting it, but in Japan, it doesn't make that big of a splash because, like I said, 9,000 copies, that, that barely makes a footprint. But yeah. in America, the 360 version is undoubtedly going to sell more than the PS3 version. Hmm. That happens with almost every game, as long as it's not a sequel. <laughs> I guess yes. we'll have to see about that. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the only one here who actually has a 360 is Will, and Will, you're picking it up on the PlayStation 3, though, so... Yeah. I guess, it, say you weren't 100% getting it on the PlayStation 3... And you heard about this? Would this like change your mind, or like would you still like would nah, you still think about because, getting? Because his... I mean, as I said, this is like uh, like network lag issues. I I rarely play games online. Lack of friends. <laughs> no, no, not lack of friends. Just lack of um, <laughs> lack of competition. Oh yeah. uh, yes, but not 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 anymore. I I can't wait till that game comes out in America. Or I guess for you as well, since you're going to get later on. Because now we, then we can just come on the podcast and just have tons of stories of us just playing online forever. <laughs> <laughs> and have all the crazy, crazy stories of uh, your yours, uh, your horrible matches against me as I just whoop you. Oh, here, here it comes. Uh, but we got we to gotta wait. We got to wait. Watch out, out, Twitch TV, knows. people. Twitch TV, um, beat it. <laughs> that's, that's too much work to set up a live stream, but I might. Who knows? <laughs> All right, Lauren, you want to tell us our next story? Yeah, sure. Uh, This next one, basically, along with the Persona 4 Arena stuff going on, we also got a Persona 4 Arena manga that has been announced on on Atlas's game blog. And um, it'll probably be out August 7th, 2012. Is that, that, I guess that's, well, wait, that's like, that's like really soon, isn't it? Yeah, that's the American release day as well, which is kind of an interesting thing. Yeah. So, anyways, yeah. So, go to your local bookstore if they sell manga. Like that. That's the weird thing too. So many places don't sell manga that much anymore, or they don't well, sell like a yeah, wide variety. Yeah, it's it's basically for the most part like Barnes and Noble or yeah, it's basically Barnes and Noble if you want to go out and pick it up. But yeah. uh, yeah, it's it's actually although the interesting thing is it's not coming out as a volume right away. Um, well, I don't. Did you two even know there was a Persona magazine? Yeah, no. kind of, but uh, yeah, the uh, it's their t- it's going to be the tenth issue of the Persona magazine, and that's what it's going to be debuting in. It's kind of interesting that 
I mean, it wouldn't be interesting if they're debuting it there, let alone the fact that they're putting one out already for a game that just came out last week in Japan. Yeah. Also, um, just a little bit more about it. It's going to be um, illustrated by Aya Q from Code Age and Anti Magia. And, and neither of those series I've ever heard of before. No, this. me neither. But I looked up the um, I looked up the artist, and some a lot of the stuff is pretty cool. It seems like she does a lot of monster work. So, or he, she or he, don't know. Oh, you didn't have a tell. It's a, it's a it's a mystery. Everyone can write in and tell us. It's a both. No, wait. Let me look it up. Hold on. I will look it up real quick. But Sorry. uh, oh no, it's fine. Why you look it up? I guess I can kind of say. I don't know. Um, do either of you two really buy a lot of manga? No. Um, yeah, I, no, I some... only because. Um, well, I would buy them if they were actually on store shelves. That's just what mm. I'm gonna say right there. Yeah, I guess you guys wouldn't really get too many. See, America, we used to get a whole. There was remember back in the whole Tokyo Pop days. America used to get everything. Like everything got translated and got put over here, and then they started losing tons of money. But Yet, with Persona 4's popularity, we've never, ever gotten any of the mangas for 3 or 4, mm-hmm. which is kind of which is kind of weird, but, I mean, obviously it's never too late, and, uh, I don't know, it, it would just be, it would be nice to actually see it come over, because I've heard such good things about it, and the art style, it, it lends itself so well to a manga, I mean, might as well. Mm-hmm. But obviously, like, a lot more goes into it with licensing and other stuff. So, did you find out the uh, gender of our illustrator? I actually can't find it. Most sites have it as N.A. Or just not there at all. She is, uh, it's actually created by some mythical spirit cloud that pumps out Persona drawings each week. I guess so, because honestly, like, there's nothing to say. Oh, it is a, I think it is a boy, maybe it is a boy? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, well, we don't know. Um, if you know, please let, let us know, because now I'm actually interested. Uh, I know. Which gender this could be now. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. But anyways, uh, yeah, no, I don't really, I don't really buy manga anymore. I bought, like, maybe one or two, but it's just, it's so expensive. Like, I just can't, I don't know, maybe if manga was the only thing I bought, maybe I would I would buy a lot more, but since I buy, like, video games and movies and stuff like that, it just seems like, ugh, that's just another thing I have to spend, like, a ton of money on. Yeah, I I, I used to be just totally addicted to manga, and I started in the fourth grade, I remember, because I just randomly had the first volume of Yu-Gi-Oh! in, like, some book catalog, and used to get those at school, you remember? Yeah. Like, you would order them, they would take, like, three yeah, months yeah, to yeah, arrive, yeah, yeah. and then you'd finally get them, and you're like, oh, this is the best thing ever. I know. You're, like, I, so that's happy. What, that's when I got one, and I was a big Yu-Gi-Oh! fan at the time. I, I still I still sort of am. And I play, and I re- opened it up, and it's like, so it's Yu-Gi-Oh! characters, but they don't play card games, they just play games where Yu-Gi kills them. This <laughs> is the most amazing thing I've ever read in my life! And that's when I totally got... I was pretty much addicted buying multiple ones every month all the way up until high school started for me and it wasn't really that I got out of it it's mainly that I just kind of like funds and stuff you said they changed the price to and said 7.95 it's now 9.99 a book even with that I've now since I have a job I've gotten back into buying them more and more uh-huh. if you I, I don't know do you guys want to guess how much money I've spent cuz I've actually totaled oh, all gosh. this up before $2000 uh, I would say more. Oh More. my god, 10,000? Yeah. Yes. $10,000? Yes. That is And that's insane. that's just a manga. I am I'm not even I just got out of high school everybody. That is so Where is your tuition money going to go? I'm reading it right now. Oh my god, that is a lot of money. Yeah, and the weird thing is I never actually I I got them for like Christmas and stuff sometimes, but it was for the majority me. It was me buying them. Yeah. And mix that in with wanting to buy games and mon- and uh, anime. Yeah. The, yeah. Uh, so I, I've yeah. So Will, whenever you feel bad for buying anime, don't. Just the, don't. No, just that, think. The, no, just I, think of Spencer. No, it's it's totally fine. I'm I'm so going to keep on buying them. Just I'll just all I do is I uh, you know I, I I I'm I'm cautious when I'm buying my anime. It's just um. 
I just you know, what, I'm gonna actually do this for the, for the night. I'm gonna take a picture of uh, my bookshelves. They're all all of my mangas are actually triple stacked, and that's the only ones that I have displayed. I have many that are just in boxes, but my bookshelf is just mangas just triple stacked have, on each other because I, I can't display them oh all. Oh my god! Back at home, my uh, my, what I've done is because I, I, I moved away to university. I basically took all the DVD case, like, all the DVDs out of the cases of the um, DVD collections, and just and store them in a like a, like, like, like a file folder, like a... You know, oh, just so you can hold them all? Just so I can hold them all, and it's just... Man, when, when, I, when, I, when I look back at that, uh, at, at all those DVD cases, I'm like, wow, how much did I spend again? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, well, you guys would have cried had oh, you had to... Oh, no, to, it's... Uh, it's had uh, to... No, had you had to um, do what I did and move to England? Oh yeah, how much stuff did you get losing? Oh, I lost, I lost pretty much all of my books. I couldn't really take any of them because it was now. Just were so were video games or books more of your like collection? Like, what do you think you'd spent the most money on? Oh, definitely, definitely uh, videos, like just movies. Movies so, was so, so you couldn't take them. So you, thing. you couldn't take them over to overseas, could you? I actually, I. Um, I bought one of those like huge CD binders that mm-hmm. store like two hundred, uh, two hundred discs or something crazy. Yeah, like that. They, 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 that, that's what I did. Yeah. Yeah, I carried that over and just held it close to me the entire flight. I was just like, "You are not prying this from my arms. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> you're never going. You're never going to get this away from me. I don't care if you need to check it or something. I'm not going to give it up." And, um, but yeah, but if I had to bring manga, if I bought all that manga and then I just had to give it away, I would be so (sighs) sad. I don't even know what I'm going to do when I move out. It's going to be like an ordeal. (laughs) At least I kind of, at least I can take my movies away with me to, um, when I, when I do. Yeah, it's not like me. I can't just, I can't just rip off the binds of my books and just like take them like loose pages. (laughs) As ridiculous Uh, as that would seem. Let me see, uh... What you could do is, that's not that. would be way too much work. I was gonna say you yeah, the, uh, only, the, the uh, only suggestion I was, I was, I've ever gotten. I was gonna say what you do is um is, is you read the book and as you're reading the book, you, you you're typing them on the Microsoft Word and then as you <laughs> as you finish reading it, you've got the book stored on a digital format. <laughs> that sounds like the worst idea I've ever heard. That's Although this coming from the person who has sent, uh, spent over ten grand on books, so <laughs> take that as you will. All right. Well, that lasts a lot longer than I thought, but obviously nothing wrong with talking about manga and spending oh, yeah. way too much money on things. One more thing: the story apparently um, will follow the game story closely, but Atlas says it will defer slightly, and um, it will focus on making an impact and building tension in the story. So I'm guessing it's going to be much like the anime. I mean, the anime takes some things. It, it doesn't. It doesn't follow. Does it follow things exactly from the? Um, well, game? Will Will has spent the most time with the anime than I have. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes and no. It, it uh. I'm, okay. Like basically, if you if you finish the whole you know story of Persona Four, and you and you and you watch the whole the entire anime, you know you won't notice a thing. The only thing you'll notice uh. is basically um, you know like, geez, how did how did that guy manage to get all those social leads completed in a week out. <laughs> it, it's truly a miracle how much free time kids have in Japan. Yeah. I know. Uh, I mean, see, my, my thoughts on the story being focused, like I wrote on the blog, I just, I imagine there would be a lot less bear puns. Oh, yeah. The, uh, or, a lot, or in, uh, in uh, Kuma's, or Teddy's case, um, a lot more kanji puns. Oh, oh puns. yes. <laughs> And uh, actually, so, uh, we actually just got this. We added it to the uh, our little notes for the day, news-wise. The very first teaser trailer for Persona 3, the movie, came out today. And let's sum it up for you. Just uh, close your eyes, everybody, and get ready for a magical journey of what happens. It's black for the first six seconds. You see the protagonist of uh, Persona 3. What was his name? Start with a... Minato. Oh, 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 Minato. Wait, no, no, no. Minato, yeah. Yeah, Wasn't yeah. You see, Minata? well, that, 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 yeah. that, that's what his name in the manga. But you know, it's it'll, pr- it'll probably be the same as as the manga because I doubt they're gonna call him you again. <laughs> but uh, so it's him putting a gun up to his head, 
and then it goes black and here gun gunshot and that's all we got and you know what I still freaked out about it because that movie's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. That's basically the the same trailer that um well it's the same teaser that showed off at the uh, at the Persona Four movie showing in Japan. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, because that like just premiered. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh. And they're yeah. still going crazy over it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Japan goes cra- Japan goes crazy for Persona. Like, like, you almost think at this point that, like, they're almost, like, they could just drop the Shin Megami Tensei thing, and Persona could just be its own series. Yeah, but, uh, alright, I guess with, um, all of that, we can now go into our, uh, people's, uh, gave us our, I guess it is multiple, even though it's two, their, uh, thoughts <laughs> on for our Evoker of the Week last week. <laughs> And if you remember, our evoker was, what are your thoughts on Persona 4 Arena getting region locked, and why does this affect you? Will, do you want to take the first one? Oh yes, uh, this first one came from uh, Haseo, the great terror of death in other worlds. But uh, he says, um, also about the evoker of the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm mad about it. I mean, both games have the same stuff, except maybe the DLC. It's example, you can only get this costume for, for this reason, region, yada yada, but um, Atlas even said in an article, it's basically the same thing, just that you can't get uh, on a foreign console. It might just, which might suck to me, as long as I get to play Persona, I'll be fine and even overjoyed to experience an epic game that it is. Yeah, I mean, it's a, like definitely most people that have replied back to us for the most part are seeming pretty mad and everything, which is good because I was worried that, much like on the Atlas forums, everyone was going to be complaining. Although, I actually, before I go to the next one, I did realize something that I kind of overpassed when it came to uh, the region locking being a bigger deal for Europe. Mm. For Europe, it makes a lot more sense, actually, because, Will, you said that it's coming out September 7th? Yep. And mm. PAL and all the other... Having to wait a month makes a lot more sense for a game that you're getting the exact same copy of. I will, yeah. I will give them that for complaining about that. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is really sad about that. Like us Europeans are getting, are pretty much getting shafted. Us Europeans and Australians, we're getting shafted. Although, um, but it, it, I mean, we are getting it though. Oh, well, it's not like it's not like back in the day where like um, where we were having to wait maybe six months to maybe a year before a game would come over? Well, if you think about uh, Persona Persona uh, 3, I don't think that came over until um, until they got P3P. No, well, mm. Persona 3 came over here but by the time they got Fez over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 that was it. So, um, yeah, that was... It's uh, just I'm, crazy. Yeah, but I mean... Again... It's, it, again... We can wait. It's, it's, yeah. It's, 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 and, and also, what what by this? Let's just say by the end of the year, 2013, when we will all obviously still be playing, um, we we have online. We can all still play people in Japan, Europe, and whatever godforsaken country you may live in. We, we can all play together. By the end of mm. like when it comes down to it, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's true. All right, and our other. Um, response to the evoker of the week comes from hunter slasher 13 and it says my reply to the evoker of the week eh by the way guys just want to throw in right here um i i really understand uh that you guys are feeling pretty meh about it and eh about it when most of the things i hear when you guys start are meh you don't start like an <laughs> article or feature like, here's my thesis of how i feel about dark knight rises eh well <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't start me with the most positive attitude but here we go Eh, I don't really care about Persona 4 Arena. Uh, I don't like fighting games. Uh, remember, we weren't over this. I-, I guess everyone heard this with me. So, I'm telling you guys on here, Hunter doesn't like fighting games. So, boo-hoo for, the- for that game, since it's being region-locked. For the decision, region-locking the game is good business move on Atlas's part. They would be losing more money if they if they didn't do this. From a consumer's perspective of region locking, I still don't care. I don't import games, so yeah, take that, Spencer, you punk kid. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, Hunter likes Persona, apparently, but hates fighting games. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But, but, yeah. but, 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 but you have to wonder, 
will Persona 4 Arena translate well with the RPG fans? I I wholeheartedly know that it will. From the bit of the story that I got to play, it's there. It's not going to disappoint. It's it's really good. Also, like what we said before, I think in the last podcast. I mean, the way that Atlas treats their games, no matter what genre it is, they will do it like a hundred percent. You know, like Catherine was completely different, and Trauma Team was completely different, but they're still like loved by everybody who plays them. Like oh, it's yeah. so crazy. So I'm hoping that the same theory will go into effect, and that Atlas can do no wrong. I really hope Atlas can do no wrong. Well, well, be, 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 because it, it is it is fact. Atlas can do no wrong. Mm. Well, <laughs> Game of Thrones. I'm gonna throw it up there in a bit, but. It, to have one yeah. game out of uh, out of out of over a decade of fan service, I think that's a pretty good track record. Yeah. But uh, I think actually we might have one more that I forgot to add. <gasps> but oh, okay. shocking! I know three fans. Shut up. Yes, we did. Yeah. I remember we had one. How did I? How could I almost forget Waldo Link Schnitzel Dong talking about it? Oh dear. Um. Yes. I guess, well, I can't really give it to Lauren really quick right now on the spot, but I guess I'll just do it myself, and you can make up for it in questions in Lauren. Oh, I guess. I know. You just love reading Waldo Waldo's comments so much, don't you? Oh, I love the comments. All right. Uh, here I to say the fact, that, the fact the majority of PS3 games are region-free has virtually made no difference to my game buying habits after years of playing region locked consoles. So having one particular game, a region lock doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. And the fact that and the fact that Atlas are going out of their way to get the North American and power releases out in a timely manner makes the region lock even less important. That is very true, because like like we mentioned before, the wait for the Persona games can sometimes be pretty bad. Mm. But uh yeah um I guess hmm you guys want? You guys have any idea who should get the free month of PlayStation Plus after checking those three out? Mm. I don't know. Lean more towards sale, maybe. I don't know. But that, that, that's my vote. I was for sale. I, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I wanted to go for sale too, mainly for the fact that um, his uh, trash can dancing uh, <laughs> avatar made me very happy. <laughs> So, Lauren, are you fine with us giving it to Haseo? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> it's not my month of PlayStation Plus. What do I care? Goes, goes, goes. Okay, well, Haseo, just um, I will PM you or do something to make sure you get your code as soon as possible. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoy all the free stuff. Now, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, uh, we have an evoker for this week as well. And our evoker of the week this time is if you could add one character to Persona 4 Arena as DLC, who would it be and why? Lauren? Um, well, I was kind of talking about this before, and I think it would kind of be a tie between like uh, Junpei and uh, Shinji, because both of them I love. And Junpei is just fun. I, I just, I love Junpei. I think he's just so cool. And. Yeah, I really want him to be in there. And Shinji is just awesome. Oh, yeah. He needs no explanation. He's just no, awesome. No, he doesn't. I would <laughs> just like to be awesome, as awesome as Shinji is. All right, Will, how about you? Who would you like to add? Well, okay, the, like the one I would probably want to add in is kind of already in there, like kind of, but I mean, he has a palette swap and... Uh, yeah, but um, it'll be like the Persona 3 protagonist. But you know, if, if he's already in there, kind of as a, as I said, as a palette swap. You can, like, Man, that Im- that image that someone like drew so that what was it? It was Elizabeth, but they drew it so she looks just like the protagonist from Three. That was so. That looked just like him. I almost fell for it for a second. Have you seen those images, you guys? Yeah. No. Wait. Let me see. Yeah. Not to Persona 4. Yeah, I mean, besides the fact that he looks very feminine and whatnot, it, it, it surprisingly fits well if you just, like, palette swap his clothes for hers. Yeah, it just, I mean, like, um, again, if, if, it, if it wasn't him, I would have to go with Ken from Persona 3. Ken would be interesting. Uh, Ken was the little boy, right? Yeah, the little boy. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be interesting. With, with, See, with, small, with, characters, small characters is, is hard to... Uh, 
hard to do with fighting games, but I think they could make it work. Well, I mean, mm. cause it, I mean, how long how long is this from uh, Persona Three? Like two years now or something? Like uh, um, a year and a bit? Yeah, I think it's about yeah, probably. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean you, you have heard of Ghost Spurt, right? <laughs> Yeah, I just imagine that he was a child forever, like in some Neverland sort of state. <laughs> and uh, I it, oh what? Oh, sorry. I was just gonna say. Um, I really like Ken's um, weapon. I think he probably has. Oh yeah, yeah, the spear would be so cool. Yeah, that would be really really cool. Oh, and yeah. uh, even though Melissa could not be here this week, she did have a response to our evoker, and she would have wanted to add uh, Koromaru, and if you are wondering who that is, that is the dog from Persona the 3. The dog! Oh, <laughs> the Shiba Inu. He's so cute. So awesome. You know that was based on a real story, right? Yeah, they even made a dumb American movie about it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's so, oh, that's just, it breaks my heart when I hear about that story. I've actually seen so the statue. It's a, very, it's a very cute statue. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, isn't it in, like, The World's Ends With You as well? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've, I haven't played it. Oh, I my, to play it. oh, my yeah, gosh. Uh, <laughs> what, what am I doing here? How dare I know, I know. I'm sorry. All right. I just haven't, yeah, I wasn't into DSs, but. I will get it at some point. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but uh, <laughs> I guess on to mine. Uh, I'm going to do a cop out because I, I I decided not to do just one. I decided to do five, and I decided not to just tell you guys here. I actually wrote a feature about it uh, for my top five Persona Five Arena characters that should be in the game. That's probably not as long that the title really would be, but you get the gist of it. Um, but I guess if I could give you one hint on who my number one would be, since the article is not up yet, or who knows when it'll be up by the time you're all listening to this, um, I guess the biggest hint for my number one would be, he's probably going to have a lot of bedhead. Oh boy. Yosuke? What? No. <laughs> no. He's already um, in there. Yeah, Yosuke's already oh, yeah, in there. Oh yeah, sure, he is already in there. And uh, if he doesn't wake up soon... It may be over for him. No, no, no! I'm giving too many hints. I'm giving too oh, many hints. Oh, is this? Are you going like a whole other game now? Mm, universe, maybe. That's yeah. cheating. Oh, oh, hi. If that's the case, then I'll go Kaine from near. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, all right, fine. All right, I'm gonna spoil my number one for the feature. All right. No, no, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> all right, we're gonna have a very long argument after this about why he no, works. No, no, come on, come on. The... We demand more shine on this podcast now. <laughs> that is true, but no, we 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 will get we will get into that later because I could you know me I I could go on shouting for a while. I oh, know. really? Really now? All right, now we have some actual questions to uh, go over that are not just about our evokers of the week. But oh, way, yeah, I guess uh, like I, since we kind of went over mind with yelling, um, we would love to hear what you guys uh, would want to add to Persona 4 Arena. So just uh, send them to us on Twitter or in the forums. And you guys have been surprisingly active in the forums, so that's very very nice to hear from me. Especially since this has only been around for like. A little over a week, so thanks a million, guys. And, appa- yeah, and apparently, awesome. a bit. What was it? Too popular. Yeah, oh uh, yeah, we're too popular, guys. We actually uh, broke our uh, limits by 150 percent. I don't know Go if us. either that or Potomatic was uh, just trying to get me to send the money quicker. So but... yeah, I guess I can answer this before we go into questions. Um, if you tried downloading us off the RSS feed recently, you may have noticed the podcast is only 23 seconds long. That's because Podomatic has a limit, and the limit to it is uh, 15 gigabytes for free. And I had no doubt in my mind that we would not go past the limit on episode one. And you guys all proved that wrong. Uh, Thank you, though. But for the most part, I guess, I'll let you know if that's going to be changing sooner. There's obviously, you can still stream it and listen to it that way and download it through our site on Archive. What... I guess also our blog, but those are your options. But thanks for breaking it. I guess it's it's good. <laughs> it's good and it's bad. Yeah. It's good and it's bad. It that it's kind broken. of break. 
obviously. Yes. But, um, okay, I guess we can go and do our questions now. Uh, Hunter Slasher 13 wrote in with a question as well, and he wanted to ask... Uh, if you if I wanted to if I wanted to know the upcoming games at my mom and grop uh, pop shop, where would I want to go? And Hunter, yes, that is a serious question, and I will read that on the podcast. Uh, if you want to know all sort of upcoming games, you can go to gamingunion.net because I'm assuming there's upcoming games there, right? Maybe, yeah. Lauren, you, you you would know this better than me. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you may you may see games there. We can whole half heartedly confirm this. And now for yeah. a serious question. Uh, Persona 3, uh, since Persona 3 and 4 came out a while ago, after the 6th generation ended, which, if you're wondering, the 6th generation is pretty much current gen right now, Xbox, Wii, and PS3. Uh, do you think Persona 5 will be released before or after the current generation ends? Uh, uh, if before, when do you think it will be released? Uh, Lauren? Um... Hmm. I don't know. I I want to say they would hold on to the current generation. Yeah, uh, I mean, it seems I, like knowing Atlas, especially with Catherine being successful, that sticking it on this gen would probably be the safest option. Yeah, I mean, like they've only done, they've only released really one game on on the PlayStation Three so far, so it's like you know they haven't really done a lot on the PlayStation 3 yet, and they really need to sort of, you know, they can't just hop on another console. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they don't end up doing that. Uh, I know. What about you, Will? I'm very sad. Well, again, like, they've, they've already basically got their, you know, like, their, like their graphics, like, their, like, graphics engine or something for, um... Like, like or Catherine. That's basically like yeah. If anything, yeah, they've like, said before this will be our next gen engine. So unless, God forbid, they bring it to PS4, this is going to be what Persona Five will look like. Is that so? Like basically, they've basically already got that engine, like made. They could just easily all they have to do now is just like you like basically create the world, create the characters, and make the mechanics and and a whole lot of other stuff that I'm completely you know. Missing out on mentioning because I'm not a game designer by any means. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if it were to be in this generation, I would say they'd release it maybe two years from now. I'm like, thinking. I'm thinking they might surprise everybody. I'm thinking TGS. They're going to like have a lot of stuff to show off uh, atlases, and again, that yeah, might come out late in next year. Yeah, that's uh, that's all the other thing because you know we're, we're kind of on the um, on the verge of TGS in the coming month, and yeah. so we don't know if they're gonna say something you know about it. In which case, yeah, they might surprise us. They might say, "Oh, we're we're, we're eight. You know how we said we, we announced Persona Five? Well, guess what? We're gonna show it to you, and then we're gonna have a release date for you." And it's like, "Oh man, this is just too good to be true." <laughs> As a as a Final Fantasy fan, that would actually be kind of amazing if Persona Five comes out and is announced in like le- like a little over a year. Because honestly, if I had to think of hype, I'd probably be more hyped for Persona Five than Versus Thirteen at this point. And- oh, I definitely am. Screw screw Versus Thirteen, <laughs> and that's coming from somebody who does a fi- Final Fantasy podcast. I I totally am with you there. Yeah. It's just like weekly meetings, more like weekly naps. Yeah, just sitting on your butts uh, over there, LOLing on Twitter just... all day. Oh, it's so awful. Uh, all right, well, Lauren, you want to get our next question? Yeah, definitely. All right, this next question is from Hasia, who asks, um, which Persona main character and or side character do you uh, like or love and why? Will, oh me. Okay, well, uh, I, I like, you know, I like Minato. You know, he, you know, he, 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 he's my bro, which is basically you know Persona Three main character. As far as uh, you know, side character who you know may be the lover, I would have to go with Yukari from Persona Three. And did you actually like go after when you played? Oh yeah. Like, 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 even when I matched the uh, the social link, I actually, uh, even though I probably shouldn't have done that, I actually ended up hanging out with her more than I should have. 
shouldn't like I don't know. Oh, we're all a little bit guilty of wanting to be more social than heroes and persona every now and then. <laughs> yeah. In, in the, uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, well, what, like, about, what, like, what about you, Lauren? I guess. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I think. Well, I've already kind of said it anyway. I love. I've loved Mitsuri. I. I just really, really love her. I think that she's such a strong character and um, such a strong female lead. And. Yeah, I just want to be here. Well, um, who do you love from Persona? Akihiko. Akihiko. You, you know his Akihiko secret, right? Senpai. You know his secret, don't you? What? Lots of ramen. Uh. <laughs> that's, that's what he likes. <laughs> yeah, no. Akihiko Senpai is like... Oh, I love Akihiko. I would totally date a silver-haired... A silver-haired... <laughs> no... No, I'm not going there. I'm married. Have you have Sorry, you ever have you ever married. just like uh, one Halloween just been like, hey Dara, you want to just like uh, get the red curtains as a cape and uh, you know, get some silver hair for Halloween? He would make a really good Akihiko. No lie. You should you should see if you can get him to that. dress up as that. Well, uh, yeah, I should. Actually, could he do a pretty good Liam O'Brien in, in impersonation? Do you think? <laughs> if you, if you I do probably. I mean. If you do I, mean. I think I, th- I think yeah. we need to see this as soon as possible. <laughs> Although he, when he does his American accent, he often goes southern. So you'd have a southern. Oh accent. yeah, everybody would remember his um his his, his Brian um, impersonation. Very oh well. yes, 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 yes. I think that's like in 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 framed in history now for like awful slash hilariousness. Oh, oh my gosh. But I guess for mine, my obvious. Uh, person I like the most, who I would be bros with, as you would say, uh, would definitely be Yosuke. Because I can just, like, see me and him hanging out, finding be... dumb odd jobs, F- finding odd jobs to do. And you have to save uh, the trash can. Yes, exactly. Dan- we, <laughs> just the two of us dancing in a trash can together all day. <laughs> and uh, if I had to pick, um, it would def- my waifu, as some would say, would definitely have to be Yukiko. Just because, like, I, I always, like, when I, everyone I know always went after Chie, and I definitely see why you go after Chie. She's really cool. She's really fun. I always um, had, like, a thing for Yukiko in the game because she was always just kind of, like, that awkward but, like, really silly personality, which I really like mm-hmm. in a girl in real life. So I guess that's probably why I got, dr- like, drawn towards her in the game. I think Yukiko's... I think Yukiko's sweet. I mean, like, Chie... Sometimes she comes off a bit abrasive and sort of, like, aggressive, and you're just like, whoa, chick, calm down. And yet she's you the know? most popular girl that everyone picked. Like, I know. I guess men like to be dominated <laughs> by... <laughs> not <laughs> getting not, not getting in there. <laughs> but whatever the case. Yeah, no, I agree. I think Yukiko's... I think, something, I think, I think it has something has something to do with those uh, higher groundhouse kids, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Certain shots as she's kicking tanks into the sunset. Yes. I think she's very... She's a very humble character, I think. Uh, Yukiko. And she's also very mature. Well, except when Age. except when she gets drunk or puts those glasses on. Yeah, sure. Or when dealing with Teddy. But, like, <laughs> how she freaking got to managing, like, a... Um, hotel. A hotel. Like... And she's only like how old? Um, um sixteen. Like, sixteen, fifteen. It's no, it's like, like, they're either it's sixteen crazy. or seventeen. Pretty sure. Let's let's go with sixteen. You know, that's that's not the middle ground there. Yeah, it's a good, good medium. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But, uh, but whatever the case. Yeah. So, uh, Will, you want to get our next question? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um, Lord um, Lord Shiva from the uh, USA uh, Atlas forums has a. Uh, well, a request. Um, like, can we try and get a European fan onto the team, so so we can you know talk about the differences between games being released in in Europe? Well, and guys, the- we got halfway there. We got a European person, but unfortunately, she knows nothing about the European games being released for Persona, unless well, you've been studying up on them, Lauren. <sighs> okay, well, it goes like this. It goes like this. She's she is uh, well, she was from America. But uh, she 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 ran over to the ran off to the sunset with uh, her, her, her sweetie in in Europe. <laughs> her potentially several-haired sweetie. Yeah. 
Oh, when he turns silver hair, that's just it. That's just that's just <laughs> the fan, the fangirl side of you will just take oh, take over, gosh. and he will not be able to dye his hair back. <laughs> I'll be like Daryl, you do not dye your hair. <laughs> He's like, I, I don't I, care. I have work. They'll be wondering what's wrong with me. Yeah, that's my, this like, is my horrible no. Daryl impression, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have an English accent. Well, see, if <laughs> I go to if I, I if Ernie. I go to English, <laughs> Eddie Murphy. <laughs> no, you sound like Ernie. Oh, I thought you said Ooh. I sounded like Eddie Murphy. <laughs> They're like, it's like, hey Bert, hey Bert, what's up? <laughs> I can't, I can't go into work today. I've got to diagnose too many animals at the talking hospital I go to. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh -huh. Oh boy. Well, yeah. But um, I guess uh, as a more serious answer, without Eddie Murphy, um, obviously, if anybody who um, is a European Persona fan and would like to tell us more, we would be very interested in hearing because it is interesting how like some countries, like especially like Europe, sort of get the shaft when it comes to games being released. Except when mm -hmm. it's Kingdom Hearts, then you guys get the lucky well, strike. Only, but... only, only the most recent Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm still mean, pretty. I'm still pretty. Hey, angry hey, about hey, that. Hey, hey. Europe never got Retain of Memories. Yeah, I'm fine with that. No, no, no I, I, I am I'm, not I'm, fine I'm with glad. that. <laughs> uh, we'll agree to disagree. Sometimes countries need to loot. Hey, you guys lost the war for a reason. You have to have some penalties. But uh, en enough bashing European fans of games <laughs> before they hate us enough, and Eddie Murphy fans. Um. I guess uh, I will um, bring up two little points that sort of summing up two different uh, listeners' questions as well as a couple other things people have been asking me. Um, uh, let's see, Zero actually asked sort of two questions. One, uh, why, are we, why do we have the word official for our forums as well as our blog? It's official mainly for the fact that I put it up there not saying that the podcast is in any, is in any way official because... I call this the Persona Podcast, not the official Persona Podcast, but they're official as related to the podcast, so if that makes any sense, not that I would <laughs> think that anyone's going to find our pod find our podcast and make a forum and blog all on their own, but just worst case scenario, that's why I put it in there. I mean, uh, uh, it, it's, not like, it's not like we're funded by Atlas or something, are we? Yet. No, Yet. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, Persona 4 Arena uh, comes out August uh, 7th. Be sure to pick up a copy. comes with a sample CD. Uh, yeah, we're definitely not uh, sponsored by Atlas, guys. Hell no. pick up your copy. And, uh, unless, unless if there's some money that we're not getting. Well, <laughs> hold on. I just got my uh, jacuzzi came in. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special Atlas jacuzzi where it just fills up with uh, ramen instead of hot water. <laughs> Oh man, don't try the uh, <laughs> don't try the rain day special. Oh my god! And uh, his other question was, and along with some other people, including uh, Lord Shiva, was: Are we going to be covering any other games in the SMT Shin Megami Tensei series uh, as well? Yes, we are. But obviously, our main focus is going to be Persona. But I like for the most part, I'm the biggest Shin Megami Tensei fan. And when it comes to um, what's the bigger series at this point? the actual series that Persona is spying off from, or Persona, it's kind of undoubtedly Persona. But when interesting Atlas news sort of comes up, such as like Shin Megami Tensei 4 news for the 3DS or whatnot, we'll, we'll definitely bring it up, or at the very least, I will talk about it on the blog. I mean, unless either of you two plan on getting into the SMT games when they're coming out. Uh, I'll get into the SMT games when I... Um find a way that I should get my hands on them. Yeah, and that's another reason. Yeah. The Persona ones are much more accessible to get than the SMT games, like outside of emulation, which exactly. we do not condone in any way. Yeah, no. Yeah, exactly. But um, either way, that was it. Another one was from Samantha uh, Estevans? Estevans? Samantha, Samantha E. <laughs> Uh, she she said uh, Estebanes. Estebanes, yes, <laughs> a little Latin flavor in this in this week. But uh, she said, "Great episode! So happy there's finally a Persona podcast. Uh, will this be a weekly podcast? Yes, it will be. But there's a little like star next to that. Yes, it will be because I sort of started this podcast at an interesting time. But if you've been following the blog at all, 
I mentioned a bit about um, Gaming Union is doing their fourth season of New Game Plus, and what I do on that, I not really am related in helping out, like, that's mainly Chloe, she does it and whatnot, but I run a little community project called New Game Podcast, where me and everyone who participates in that season sort of get together each week and have ourselves a little, like, discussion as we're talking about the game. It gets pretty off topic, but it's a podcast I like to do nonetheless, and I'll definitely be doing it with this latest season, and the, um, we're definitely going to be playing Valkyrie Chronicles, but just so I don't sort of go crazy and have zero free time at all, what I'm going to be doing scheduling-wise with the podcast is we will be weekly for the most parts, but what's going to happen is the next week there will be no Persona podcast. The week after that, it's pretty much it's going to be bi-weekly for two weeks. So you're going to get one two weeks from now, and then two weeks from now, and then after that it'll be weekly again. Unless, for some reason, bi-weekly works the best. But at the moment it seems like it'll be weekly. And um, that's for the most part it. Obviously, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. And Lauren, she actually had some questions that weren't just patting us on the back for doing a good job. Do you want to ask those questions to finish us up? Sure thing. Uh, this next one is, uh, do you think the North American version of a P4 Golden will have the Super Sentai os- uh, costumes as unlockables? Yeah. And how do you think uh, guys think the sales for uh, Persona 4 Arena in Japan will compare to those in North America. Probably should have asked this. So <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Uh, by the way, if anyone's wondering what the heck Super Sentai is, just think Power Rangers. Persona Power Rangers is all you need <laughs> to think in your mind. And Yay, Persona Power Rangers. Yes, that... Go Power Rangers. <laughs> do, do. Go, go, Power Persona. That actually needs to happen. That Like, a yes. mixture of those be, two songs. Be, be, be. <laughs> Uh, but that would, um, I guess for the Sentai costumes, I'm very excited, and I, I doubt that they would take those out, because, mm, unless, I haven't done, really done too much research, they don't call them out right away as Super Sentai costumes, unless they do, and knowing Atlas, they could easily change the wording of the brand, because they're not direct costumes, but they look a lot like them, so they will most mm. likely be in the game as little Easter eggs and stuff, um, along with other costumes, but... I've been pretty much keeping out of that. I don't know. What do you think, Will? Well, I mean, it would be great to have them on there as either unlockables or even, you know, hey, even to the, even the give themselves a pat on the back, maybe, you know, they might even do it as DLC. I don't know. <laughs> well, hopefully, it, they it, wouldn't, it, they, hopefully they wouldn't do DLC if something gets on the card. Exactly. <laughs> uh, <come. laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. Okay. Those, yeah, those costumes are going to be awesome. I can't wait to see like all the other crazy stuff. That's been, that's always one of the things that I love. Like just when you're running around, just going through the dungeons and whatnot, just having ridiculous, out of place costumes for no apparent reason at all. Yeah. Unless if you like. I think I got a maid costume once. I just think it's funny what they say. Like when you give it to them, they're just kind of like, uh, thanks. I don't really want to wear <laughs> what this. What do I? Thank what you. What do I? do with this um yeah those those, remember, those of you who buy uh some free fez um try and uh well just give him the high cut cut the high cut armor <laughs> yeah exactly but it's it's really funny because um i remember at one point they actually they didn't want to wear it anymore so they gave it back to me oh wow really <laughs> yeah. yeah, they were like, I found this instead, so here you go. You can I've actually that. never had that happen to me. That's amazing. <laughs> no, that does happen to, that does yeah. happen to me, too. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, thanks for this, but I, I, found something, I found something much better while, you know, crawling through the dungeons. You can have this back. Are you, are you re-gifting this to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God. No, no, you will wear it. <laughs> Do you think I could pull off this maid costume? Because I can't. I've tried. <laughs> It's, 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 it's <laughs> like, girl, this, this, this ain't this, this ain't really uh, this ain't really good around my waist. <laughs> we we need we need much more hip girl lingo in the next Persona game. Persona Five, you just hear all the main girl characters go, "Girl, what are you thinking?" <laughs> but all right, uh, I guess for Persona Four sales, um, I guess we can kind of split up since neither of us live in the same country. I personally think Persona 4 Arena is going to do really well in America, especially since how well like the fighting game community, since we've finally gotten to play it, really like it. 
Atlas fans really want to play it for the story, unless Hunter, because he hates everything, apparently. Um, <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, I'd say if I had to do a ballpark number for us, it'll probably... I'm hoping to... This is me being very optimistic, but like, trying to be very reasonable. 40,000. No, I'm thinking, it, like, two, <laughs> two, 200,000 or uh, 250. And that's, like, really, really mm. good. Especially no, for just, August. No, but because if you say, say 200,000, it'll be 150,000. Well, that's fine, too. That That's respectable. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, the higher you guess... You know, the, yeah, the, the the more low should be. I should have done. I should have done three fifty just to even it up in. Yeah, exactly. but um, uh, I guess how to learn. What do you think? How like how will it do over in uh, Europe? Um, I honestly have no clue because, um, it's it's gonna be a hard one because like if they don't get enough marketing for it from like other people like regular game sites like you know your gamer and. Uh, stuff like that that everybody goes on nobody's necessarily going to care um, but I think that everybody, generally everybody who has bought a Persona game in the past will probably consider buying Persona for Arena so I think you'd get a good amount I'm, I don't know like ballparking like how many exactly but I think you would get a good amount I'm not sure how Catherine did in, did in Catherine Europe. did very well it it did, it, it, well. it, it, okay. it did very respectable numbers for coming out as late as it did. Even in Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Very so nice. I think I think it'll be I think they'll be good. All right. What about what about you, Will? The very elusive uh, elusive uh, Australian numbers. Okay. I'm gonna be pretty honest. I'm gonna say, I don't know, eighty thousand. I'm calling it. Uh, do you guys actually get like? Numbers like NPDs, like we do in Japan, um, as well as other ones. I, I honestly haven't checked the st I, I don't check the stats from for Australia because you know that's just, you know. I'm, I mean, why would you? <laughs> exactly. Why would I? I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not a journalist. Wait, I was supposed to be. Oh my god, I did not know that. <laughs> You're as much of a journalist as bloggers <laughs> are journalists. This is coming. Exactly. This is coming from someone who did a large majority of their writing as blogging. Exactly. The the. The, don't expect me to, you know, be on top of my game in, t in terms of um, getting getting on top of whatever's happening here in Australia. But, um, I mean, I will say, like, where I come from, there's barely anyone interested in anything that's anime-esque. As in, as in, like, I mean, I mean, I mean, I still pull my sad face at the at, at the copies of Blaze Blue that are just sitting on the shelves. Like, God. And that Please game be. is amazing. I know. I I, I played both the um, mm -hmm. like what was it the uh, like the the, the the actual like what was it um, calamity and trigger and then calamity uh, trigger continuum and shift. continuum shift yeah those two games I played both and they're amazing. Not extend. But no, I I'll get that when I'll get that when I get my Vita <laughs> library in check. Yeah, it's it's kind of odd. Like it's like I still like playing Blaze Blue, but at the same time I just like well I gotta play Persona though. Yeah. <laughs> gotta manage yeah. my time. But, um, yeah, I yeah. guess that finally wraps up our questions for the uh, episode. But, um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, just, like I said before, send them to the forum or whatnot. And um, I guess now we can sort of start telling everybody where you can find us. Um, since Melissa's not here, I guess I can do it for her. You can find her um, work over at Anime Pantry, if you like anime and food-related writers. You can go over there. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure that's yeah, it's animepantry.wordpress.com. Since I'm pretty sure if you just put in animepantry.com, that wouldn't come up with anything. And you can follow her at Twitter at Fatal, Fatal Flare. Flare? Yeah, yes, Fatal, Fatal Flare. Flare. Okay, so yeah, you can find her there. Um, Lauren, do you want to tell anybody to check out anything or Twitters and whatnot? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, well, if you want to check out my Twitter, it's uh. Fosness, so F O Z Z N E S S, and um, you can also check out the Final Fantasy Union and Kingdom Hearts Union podcasts. Uh, the next podcast should be um, when will it be? Um, not this coming. Not well, the this po coming podcast Tuesday, just came out just Tuesday. like. Um, 
Exactly. It, uh, um, Final Fantasy Union came out this Tuesday, so next Tuesday there won't be anything, but the Tuesday after that will be Kingdom Hearts Union, and maybe we'll be talking about Kingdom Hearts 3D? <laughs> what else would we be talking about? We won't have any spoilers, hopefully, but yeah, so... Um, yeah, that's where you can check me out, and, uh, yeah, I think and, so. uh, and GameUnion.net, in case if you want all the reviews and news and stuff, you know, that's sort all of your thing. up. If that's your... Is that your bag? Go there. If that's your bag. <laughs> but, uh, on a little side note, hey guys, I was on uh, Final Fantasy uh, Union this week. Uh, guess what? Yeah, that was me. Then the horrible, horrible microphone you heard. I don't know what happened. Uh, technical jargon. Aww. I sounded horrible on the first episode I was ever on. So wait, wait, we can actually hear you. Yeah, you can hear me now. My my. No, no, but, no, but I mean, yeah. like we, we could actually hear you on that show. It, just, it was just a bit. Uh, yeah, it's a not. Deep... It's not unlisenable. It's just exactly. No. Disappointing. <laughs> so that's what I've been using Aww. as a word. It's personally disappointing to me in so many ways. But his, either his way, reputation has been shamed. <laughs> oh God, I know. If I even have a reputation, <laughs> but yes, go check that out, and then go in the forums and say Spencer's mic sucks. And then, yeah, you can go do that. Will you want to tell everybody where they can find you? Well, um, I think I'm only on two places. I'm at, I'm on Twitter as uh, Vanus two nine zero, and I'm on uh, GamingUnion.net as uh, Vanus. You know, I'm just a I'm just no member. I'm not. I don't. I don't contribute to the staffing in any way. He's lazy. Like, everybody. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> just sits around eating all of our chips. Yeah. I mean, Aww. you know, if 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 I could, I'd give it a hand. But you know, I just. I guess you know the uh, the Aussies just aren't good enough. You know. <laughs> I'm just imagining you sitting in front of a empty Microsoft Word document. I don't know what to write. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to produce content in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I could. I mean, I, I could actually no. Wait, I, I mean, I could ask Bayhan if he let me in, but uh, he's kind of pissed at me at the moment due to the uh, to the NGP uh, outings <laughs> with uh, Pokemon not winning. Yeah, he'll get over it. Just give him some rare candy, and he'll be fine. Exactly. And and and, and, and give him give him a, give him a uh, well give him a Mew. Maybe he'll shut up. That's all it takes for Pokemon fans. Uh, Alright, and I guess for me, you can find me on Twitter at Torchwood4SP. And now that we actually have multiple places you can find us on the internet, thanks to Melissa helping me out last week, we've set up a blog. You can find us at our official blog, which is personapodcast.blogspot.com, where you can find all the podcasts. You can stream them, download them, everything, um, as well as different little pieces of editorial. For the most part, I guess it'll just be me like giving Persona news throughout the week along with any other related updates for all of you guys. And there's also... You can find us on iTunes. All you have to do is look up Persona Podcast. And guess what? We're number one! So suck it, spiritual yeah. Mexican podcast numero dos. We beat you. <laughs> I know you haven't updated in like six months, but I know you I know you noticed. We bumped all six of your users on hard. <laughs> but uh, actually, since we're on iTunes, um, since you obviously can't obviously can't download the episode at the moment until next month, um, I would really, really appreciate as many rates and reviews on iTunes as possible because that really, really helps. That really like bumps us up and gets people to notice us because at this point, all we're really trying to do is get as many people to listen. And we already got one review. I am... Um, Oh wow, I don't, I don't remember the name at the moment. Um, of uh, somebody, does anybody have any idea? Or, or are we all just gonna blank out here? We're somebody, somebody said something here. really nice on on iTunes, and I and I wanted to give them a little shout out for thanking us. Well, if you know yeah. who you are, <laughs> if nice you're just person. listening there, we love you. And we'll mention oh, your next podcast. Oh, okay, here, here it sure is. Here it is. Uh, it's uh, Sifa Skull. Cephaskull? I don't know. That was your name, uh, Cephaskull. You gave us five stars and liked us because we're Persona Podcast, and I guess it helps when you're waiting in between Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts Union Podcast. So you're welcome, and thank you for rating us on iTunes. So you can check out the blog. Um, 
check us out on iTunes as well as our forums. You can get there through the blog as well because it's just one long link at the moment to Gaming Union's forums. <laughs> not not something you could easily uh, shout out, but that's uh, that's pretty much it for all the stuff we have to promote this week. So, Lauren, you want to tell us which song we're going to be ending on? Okay, we're going to be ending on a remix of one of my favorite songs. Uh, oh, sorry. Deep Breath. Deep Breath. <laughs> deep Breath, you can say sorry. it. Uh, deep Breath. Yeah. Deep Breath times two, basically, from uh, Persona 3. It's a really awesome song. Um, I used to love dancing around to it while I was playing Persona 3, and I hope you guys like it and will groove to it, too. Because it's fun. Yeah, so when we're playing the when we're playing this song at the end of the podcast, just start of dancing. You know, you're on the train, going to school or going to work, just start dancing. Get a good dance on before your day starts. It has yeah, it has some rap in it. I mean how oh, can yeah. you go wrong with that? <laughs> well it is possible to get annoyed with the rapping eventually, but I think in a two minute song we should be good. And our residential music hater, uh Will, what do you think of the song? Oh, music hater. When is it? When is it? When is it? When is it? Music sorry, hater. sorry. Not music hater. Everything that doesn't include um, uh, shut up and jam. Uh, <laughs> man, you, I'm you back one day. Well, I, I mean, I, I as far as I remember this track, um, it played, you know, I think during one full moon sequence and during the, I think it was like Operation... It's when they're going onto the train. No, 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 yeah, but it was also when they were when they're on the beach trying to trying to um trying to get some girls and um they bump into you know failure and I just oh yeah <laughs> and that then, whole uh, that whole beach level is just so good. <laughs> it's, 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 it's yeah. like, no matter what you say, they're gonna reject you. Exactly. <laughs> I, I use yeah. I use that mentality for all of my uh, girl questions. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, at least I won't be too disappointed then. No, that'd be right, that'd be so emo of me if that was so true. Although uh, it was kind of weird, where um, you know, I just was like, you know, uh, I my only fun is to be with you. It's like, um, okay. <laughs> this, I appreciate you know, if this that. This chick wasn't so good looking. This may be weird. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoy the song, and thanks again for listening, and I guess we'll see you in two weeks. Goodbye, everybody. Adios. Bye. And keep on Invoking those can. episodes. Oh, yeah, keep on trash can dancing. Don't don't think about shitting yourself ahead. Just, just trash can No, 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 no. Just, 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 just take that evoker and just, you know, just take my wrath there in the temple. And just, <laughs> that sounds almost down. dirty. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> no. Right there, it gets you. Just what you put it right there. Just pull the trigger. Just do it. I'ma put it down, grabbing this ground. Lay your dollars on the ground, gonna double up now. Six to five to four to three, two, one more time. Baby punch mine about to prove. Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. Take a deep breath. The sky. Feeling no pressure, but a pee is in the media. Getting jiggy with the confound, this will tell you. Anywhere you be, from New York to Siberia. Gotta be your own, be the shake it till we end. I'ma put it down, down. grab me this ground. Lay your dollars on the ground, gonna double up now. Six to five to four to three, two, one more time. Heavy punch, mine about to cruise. Let it go, let it out, let it go, let it out. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Yeah.